We are back with some more cybersecurity news. Today, Apple, the big tech company, is in the news because this most perfect brand for some is hurt by a bug that enables eavesdropping on conversation by FaceTime group users. The feature linked to the bug has been disabled by Apple until its engineers can fix it. But it is a setback for a tech company that touts itself and its commitment to privacy. We all know that Apple is characterized by its hermetic software system, and yet they are still vulnerable to attacks. Although communications are supposed to be super safe and secured end-to-end -end encrypted, well, this bug has shown that you are able to convert an iPhone or an iPad into a spying listening system. It's pretty scary. The method to do that is fairly simple, actually. It's not hard to replicate. You could do that at home. It is based on performing a couple of quick actions while another person is being called. It makes it possible to listen on the recipient of the call before it even accepts the call or picks up the phone, which gives the opportunity to spy on him and his conversations. Scary indeed. So, Apple has promised a security update that resolves it this week. Meanwhile, the group FaceTime feature has been disabled by the company to prevent any risk and any abuse just about two hours after being released by the media. Um, but even though this was quick, actually, um, you know, it's still bad. As a matter of fact, if as a user you're worried, and you should be, you can always go on one step further and disable FaceTime altogether on all your devices and just wait for the patch. This is not the first time that Apple recognizes a security flaw in their systems. In November 2017, it was detected that macOS High Sierra allowed to log in as an administrator without password, a bug that the company solved just in one day. But even if they were quick to fix it, this significant security flaw should have never, never made it to the public. That's the kind of major flaw you would expect them to catch and fix during product testing before the new OS is released to the public, right? Well, yes, you would expect that from any serious tech company. And even more so from Apple, a company often claiming its excellence in terms of user privacy and security. So, even the big Apple, and I'm not referring to New York, uh, can't escape from these security issues, it looks like. So keep that in mind when you choose your next gadget. Don't rely solely on the supposed security offered by the manufacturer of a device or a software provider and always take extra steps to protect your privacy. If you don't, who will? One of these extra steps is to deactivate features and options that you don't need and to only give the permissions that an app really needs, nothing more. To stay informed about cybersecurity news, get some more tips on how to protect yourself from hackers and so on, please feel free to subscribe. And in the meantime, and above all, remember, be safe online and offline. We'll see you soon. Thank you.